Congratulations on your purchase of Skylight Flex Shades by Draper Incorporated. This video will show how to install a jam mounted unit. Tools required for installation include a level, tape measure, pencil, pliers, center punch, power drill, 7 8 inch drill bit, deburring tool, shims, a 10 millimeter wrench, a large soft piece of fabric or foam, a towel or t-shirt will do, and appropriate weight bearing fastening screws. If cutting hardware in the field becomes necessary, a miter saw is also recommended. Please view the entire video carefully before beginning installation. You can also download a more detailed PDF version of these instructions at draperink.com. Draper recommends installation be performed by experienced, qualified installers and is not responsible for improper installation, application, testing, or workmanship related to the product at place of installation. If you have any difficulties installing, servicing, or operating your Skylight Flex Shades, call your dealer or Draper Inc. at 765-987-7999. Before beginning installation, look for any site conditions that could interfere with installation or operation of the Flex Shade. Be sure to inspect all items prior to assembly. To do so, open the cartons lengthwise and lay out all the pieces. Make sure you have received the proper Skylight Flex Shade and parts by checking the pieces against page 1 of the Skylight Flex Shade instructions. A hard copy of these instructions should be included with your Skylight Flex Shade. A PDF is also available for download at draperink.com. To begin, arrange all pieces on the floor in the general manner they are to be installed and remove the covers from both head boxes. Remove the spring roller from its head box. This one notch spring roller is pre-tensioned and the dog is locked in its notch. To remove, disengage the pin end from the end cap. Then pivot the roller so that the spear end can be worked out of the slot in the spear end cap. A small bushing is included on the pin end. Be sure not to misplace it. If tension is lost, rotate the spear clockwise a maximum of 15 times to regain tension. Once desired tension is achieved, be sure the arrow on the spring roller remains pointing down until reinstallation into the head box. Next, locate the motor roller assembly and remove it from its head box. First, remove the retainer clips from the motor end of the roller. Be sure to keep all retainer clips. Then compress the spring in the gudgeon by sliding the roller toward the idler end of the head box and pivot the motor end of the roller out of the box. While the unit is still on the floor, install both side channels to both head boxes. Be sure both the channels and end cap locators are properly seated. Before attempting to affix the shade to the ceiling, verify the measurements printed on the package label to the pre-assembled shade and the opening. Check the opening for squareness by measuring for equal diagonals. The unit can accommodate up to 1 8 of an inch of variance. Disassemble the frame. Identify the conduit connector location and mark it with a pencil. Using a center punch, mark the drilling point. With your drill, create a 7 8 inch diameter hole in the motor head box to accommodate the conduit connector. Deburr the hole using your deburring tool. Note, conduit connector is not supplied. Drill holes in the head boxes to match the holes in the end caps. Then, drill mounting holes in the side support flanges on the 3 quarter inch side. Finally, drill mounting holes in the side channels. Secure side support flanges within the opening at your desired height using appropriate weight bearing fasteners provided by the installer. Be sure to accommodate the depth of both head boxes. If necessary, measure and cut the side support flanges using a power or miter saw. These flanges will support the head boxes and side channels and should fit the opening exactly. Next, reassemble the Skylight Flex Shade frame on the side support flanges. Then, center the frame within the opening and temporarily place shims between the opening and the frame. Once the frame is in place, measure the diagonals to make sure the unit is square. If the unit is not square, you may adjust the frame and re-shim to correct. Mark mounting holes at the previously drilled locations and pre-drill into mounting surface. Screw through the end caps to hold them in position. Then, secure the side channels to the opening. Next, loosen the adjustable channel mounting angle fasteners and slide the angles out until they meet the jam. Fasten with screws. Recheck the straightness of each side channel and re-tighten the angle fasteners to the side channel screws. 
If your skylight flex shade is over 36 inches wide, a fabric support cable will be included. To install, attach the turnbuckle end first to the hook in the center of the motor head box. Then attach the turnbuckle hook to the off-center attachment point. Stretch the fabric support cable across the length of the shade and install the fabric support cable into the hook in the center of the spring roller head box. Then, tension the cable by tightening the turnbuckle by hand or with a wrench until the cable is taut and straight. Caution: Do not over-tighten. Over-tightening may deform the head box. Replace the motor roller assembly, including the motor retainer clips. Then, replace the spring roller assembly. Please note, during installation, ensure the notch or arrow on the spring roller is pointing inward toward the opening and that the bushing is on the pin end. Next, wedge something soft, such as a towel or foam, between the spring roller assembly and its head box to keep the spring roller from moving. Uncoil the draw cables and extend them fully to the motor end. Wrap one end of the draw cable underneath and around the motorized roller so that about three quarters of a revolution is achieved. Slide the draw cable into the slot provided in the take-up reel and seat the cable stop against the outer side of the take-up reel. Remove the wedge from the spring roller end and pull the slat bar inward a few inches to unwind the fabric and engage the spring roller. Then, gently release. Check both ends of each draw cable to ensure that they are properly contained between the sides of the take-up reels before replacing the headbox covers. If there is excess slack in the draw cables, reference motor limit setting instructions to use the motor roller to draw the cables taut. Caution! Do not manually wrap excess cabling around the take-up reel. This may snap cables upon the release of the spring roller. If you have questions regarding this step, please contact Draper Inc. This concludes the jam-mounted skylight flex shade installation. You are now ready for electrical power connection and limit setting. If further support is needed, please contact your dealer or Draper Inc. at 765-987-7999.